In the energy quadrant today, taking a look at the July natural gas futures contract, which had a midday drop after a new high. The high today in the July contract, 2.380, was up 2.19% on the day, and it was also the highest level that we'd seen in the last five sessions. Natural gas then dropped to negative on the day or lower on the day versus yesterday's settlement of two spot 329. The low two spot 227 was down 2.23%. We then reversed again to finish a day higher by about six tenths of 1%. Natural gas is now a four of the last five sessions. And in that stretch, we're up about 8.75% in that little five day stretch I just mentioned. Now demand is expected to remain low as the weather stays basically as mild as it was last week. Very similar weather patterns continue to track across the US that we had last week with showers, thunderstorms, and comfortable highs of about 60 degrees to 80 degrees. Besides those locally hotter temperatures of 90s in the southern US, especially the southeast, which gets up to the mid 90s midday. The coolest temperatures will be in the north, the far north, northeast, as temperatures drop as low as 40 degrees overnight for the next few nights. But that's not going to be enough to move that demand needle off of low at all. Now, the storage report today from the EIA, a little bit complex. It showed a build of 118 billion cubic feet, larger than expectations, which were right around 115 billion cubic feet. However, there was a reclassification of some of the gas that reduced the actual build from 118 to 104 billion cubic feet. Because of that, supplies increased to two, from 2.446 billion cubic feet to 2.550 billion cubic feet, and surpluses increased to 353 billion cubic feet, probably why we got some of that volatility intraday.